Good morning, Church. I am Denden Kabakungan, one of the church, Church's deaconesses. Um, as you have remembered, last April 23, the Church paid over the, the delegates who will witness the launching of our daughter church in Qatar. The Church plan team was composed of myself, our senior pastor, Pastor Hizon Kuwa, Tita Grace, Nathan, Annie, and Tita Teresa Tan. Um, our chair of board of deacons, Deaconess Melinko, Elder John Ko, were also part of the team. Um, as well as Deaconess Loida and Tito Bernard Mayo, and former GCF Batangas members, Tita Yvette and Tita Tony Lim. We visited Qatar from April 25 to April 29. Allow me to share with you how I witnessed the Lord's ministry at work in our stint time there. On April 25 at 4 a.m. in the morning, we were blessed to be welcomed by some of the GCF Qatar core group. Sister Jerby and Brother G. Balesteros and Dr. Clara Cristobal were there, who brought, us to, um, to, who brought us and our heavy luggages to the place that we'll be staying in. On April 25 and April 26, Various meetings were held with the delegates in the GCF Qatar group. It was a time for us to know and understand their current um, situation, what their systems, practices, ministries, as well as their needs. As the Mother Church, it was an opportunity for us to encourage them for the work that they have been doing and the work that they will do. It was also a way for us to talk about the existing ministries of our church and share the functions and the best practices of each one. In addition, the meeting also paid way for consultations on how to adapt the church's ministries in their current context. After the meeting, the monetary support raised by our church was handed over to Deacon Christian Ayan. On April 26, Pastor Hizon baptized and rebaptized the members of the GCF Qatar core group at the West Bay Beach. Prior to the baptism, Pastor Hizon reminded the group of its purpose, and that is to publicly declare their faith in Jesus. We sang How Great is Our God by the Shore before Pastor and the members went to the sea. Knowing that Qatar is a Muslim country, we tried to be discreet by doing the practice near the boundary of the beach. However, in the middle of the baptism, one of the lifeguards disrupted the flow of the ceremony. But that did not stop us. Pastor Hezen continued baptizing the remaining few, while most opted to walk back near the entrance. It was literally a testimony for every one of us in publicly declaring that we follow Jesus Christ. Um, it is also a way for us to declare our identity as followers of Christ. And it was a joyous moment to celebrate the new work that the Lord will do through the GCF Qatar core group. On April 27, the GCF Batangas delegates helped the core team with their final preparations for the church service the night before. We helped make table decorations, edit, um, edit the media and video presentations, and create the church program and planner until 11 p.m. Then, on April 28 at 4 p.m. in Qatar time and 9 p.m. in Philippine time, the Green Hills Christian Fellowship Qatar was formally launched. The church service was held in the gym of Alashbal, um, international School, which is one of the workplaces of one of the core group members. I was in awe in, as to how the Lord worked to bring His people together to praise and magnify His name. The church was attended by more than a hundred people during that time. Praise God! The GCF Batangas delegates extended their support with the program as well. The ladies assisted in preparing for the elements for communion. Annie and Nathan provided technical help. Um, Elder John also managed to stream the service live through GCF Qatar's Facebook page. Pastor Hizon gave the message and Elder Manding also gave um, 
the prayer at the start of the service. And I also stood as the stage manager. So, malayo man po, same pa rin yung work natin. <laughs> Ayan. So, during the service, Deaconess Lloyda presented the core members to the congregation. Pastor Hizon, together with the elders and deaconess, um, deacons of GCF Batangas, commissioned them to be the leaders of GCF Qatar. Among these are Pastor Richard Cristobal, Pastor Jonas Rab Ravello, so he is one of the members of the worship ministry, Deacon Christian Ayan, the head of discipleship make, disciple making ministry, and Deacon Jerhud Balesteros, the, the head of worship ministry. Um, also, there is Dr. Clara Cristobal, Pastor Richard's helpmeet, Sister Jamie Ayan, who works with the Christian Education Ministry, Sister Jerby Balesteros, Head of Communication, and Sister Kathleen Desina and Sister Anna Agno, our ch their church administrator, administrators. Elder John prayed for the church leaders afterwards. The encounter reminded me of Paul in his letter to the Romans, which reads, First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is proclaimed in all the world. For God is my witness, whom I serve, with my spirit in the gospel of his Son. And without ceasing, I mention you always in my prayer, asking that somehow by God's will, I may now at last succeed in coming to you. For I long to see you that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. That is, that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. Throughout the entire stay, the GCF Qatar Core Group gladly welcomed us and toured us around Doha. Every one of them has a big heart to serve and uh, to be used by the Lord in the, in the expansion of His kingdom. I saw their joy of us being there um, to meet and encourage them. And it was like a child meeting their mother then. I was also encouraged by their steadfastness in the ministry. As we were in the plain home, I found myself praising God, witnessing how He is working through each one of us in building up His church. We are indeed part of one body. We, we may be a nine-hour plane ride away, but the mission continues to be the same. Indeed, we will not be ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. Church, I encourage you to raise, continue to raise uh, GCF Qatar in our prayers. To God be the glory. Thank you. Actually, it was uh, very, um, it was really something uh, we didn't know would happen. As you know, um, Brother Richard and Dr. Clara is our, our leader sa uh, Bible study group. And upon coming from Philippines, we set a meeting with them to go to this, um, to this restaurant um, for something that's totally unrelated to like church or anything. When we went there, it just so happened our other Bible study group members, everyone um, also ended up coming there without any planning. And then that time, they were going to ask that um, we actually have another calling that they'll be doing. And basically, they were saying, um, we might not be in the same Bible study group anymore. We might not be able to be your leaders anymore. And then, it just so happened all of us were already there. Uh, we asked, um, what's the reason why? And their vision was to, to be able to minister to other nationalities. And we said, we'd like to actually do the same thing what you guys are doing. It's, uh, it's a really good opportunity to contribute for God's you know, ministry. That was the start of what was to come for GCF Qatar. Say 
I was a missionary before with Campus Christian for Christ before working as a chemical engineer. And nakita ko anong before is you have to go to the specific country. Example, you want to reach out the Indonesian and Christian, you have to go to Indonesia. If you want to reach out to the African, you have to go to Africa. But you know, nakita ko na Qatar is a strategic country kasi when you go from uh, any of the places dito sa Qatar, you will encounter people from different nationalities. You don't have to go to their countries because I believe that dinala na sila ng Panginoon dito. And ang kailangan na lang natin gawin is to reach out to them. I mean, yung mga countries na I never imagined that I will meet anyone from South Africa, from Indonesia, from Kazakhstan, from Russia, from India. They are all here. They are all represented here. So my hopes for GCF Qatar, I pray that we will grow to mature as Christians um, in GCF Qatar, that we will be able to serve the Lord, to reach more people, and to be able to, you know, to spread the word of God. Itatanong niyo ko ano yung secret? I think, ano eh, uh, kasi nagsimula kami, nung umalis ako ng Batangas, I, I, I remember na they commissioned us also to bring GCF dito sa Qatar. That was 2001. That is more than, more than 21, 22 years ago. So kung nakita nyo ngayon na uh, 10 months pa lang kami, 11 months pa lang kami, pero nakita nyo yung dum- umaten doon sa launching, I think that was 10 years in the making. How has God been faithful to GCF Qatar? Well, GCF Qatar, God has been faithful from the start because everything started na alam lang. <laughs> I became emotional. <laughs> emotional kasi um, actually we uh, there was no support from other churches when we started. But then uh, from everyone's um, help, kanilang mga talents, time, uh, pinigyan nila. So everyone got to share their, their skills na i-share nila. Do you have any message for GCF Batangas? Yes. 
for this ay Batangas see you on July <laughs> and my messages really thank the Lord thank you for for all your prayers na nung pumunta doon si Brother Richard from uh, sa Batangas and then sila, sila Jamie sila Christian guys thank you for for your support and prayers po dito sa we're able to build here in GCF Qatar na dumating ang mga delegates from from Batangas thank you very much we really appreciate it God bless you all Um, first of all, um, I'd like to thank God uh, for the opportunity na they gave their support. They've been very supportive from the start, from a lot of the needs that we needed, from like our our growth group that we were doing, to a lot of the things that we have to do, the mentorship, and then also for, for them to be able to um, come here. Uh, actually, uh, with the GCF uh, Qatar delegates being here, talagang we were able to to see God's goodness na, na, that the support is there. A lot of the things that needed to get done, the, so, the people were there to help us with, to guide us, to support. So I really praise God for, um, for GCF uh, Batangas uh, for, for all their help. And I praise God for the opportunity to be, um, you know, to be part of uh, this group. Uh, for the Jisha Batangas, uh, we thank the Lord for how you are supporting us, how you are uh, lifting us in prayer. Uh, when you see the launching, you will be amazed that uh, we started with the five families, but because of the mentoring with the time with Pastor Gison, how you lifted us in prayer, and kung paano nyo kami sinusuportahan at hindi at yung friendship at yung fellowship kahit na lang dun sa on the air or sa internet. We appreciate that. I, I pray that you continue to lift us up. Kasi I believe na the launching is only the beginning and we have a greater work ahead of us. And konti pa lang din kami. I mean, the, the leaders, the workers, and we there's still a lot of work to do. You pray for all. Nakita niyo ko sino yung mga core namin. And I pray na you would include this in your prayer for maturity, ako for wisdom sa pag, uh, pag-preach ng Word ni God, and yung protection ng Panginoon. Kasi we still, this is still a Muslim country. It's not an open country pa rin. And to, to do evangelism is also a challenge. Yeah, salamat po.